Hello everyone, my name is Veronika and welcome to my class uh, Move and Breathe with Purpose. I'm a former dancer and um, I taught um, Latin uh, dances uh, on a dancing festivals all over the Europe and this beautiful experience brought me to a point when I wanted to uh, dive deeper uh, into the science of uh, the human body and I started studying um, neurology and movement. So let's get started. Uh, find a comfortable seat and um, you can have a crossed legs or even uh, sit like this. Uh, just uh, find a comfortable uh, seat and allow your spine to be tall. Relax your shoulders and relax your face. Um, we will start with the basic moves uh, with your thoracic spine, which is this area of your chest and upper back. And just move your chest up, lift through your chest bone and back. You can put your fingertips on the chest bone here and on your inhale lift through the chest bone exhale back and even if you're not really moving keep going and keep trying to move a bit more with every move. This is a message to your brain that we, we can work harder and what we're currently doing is not a big deal. Inhale, lift through your chest. Exhale, chin to chest. Slightly run your back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try to go a little bit farther. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. I will try. I will show you the move uh, from the side. So as we inhale, we lift the chest through the chest bone, but the body is not moving forward. On the inhale, go back slightly, run your back, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. few more times. Nice. Uh, now uh, place your hands on your belly and we will focus on the diaphragm breath. Diaphragm is a muscle that lies under your lungs and is the most responsible muscle uh, for our breathing. So during the day we don't really think about it but um, if you really come to a moment when you need to quickly refresh your mind, refresh your body, this is exactly a breathing exercise you want to do. So place your hands on your belly, focus on that area, and as you inhale, let the belly come out. Exhale. Gently engage the abdomen wall and draw it in and up towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale. You can close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. A few more times. Relax your shoulders and focus your breath through your nostrils.
Now place your hands on the uh, lower ribs, on your at the end of your rib cage, and we will continue the same um, uh, breathing rhythm. Just um, this time we will focus on expanding the rib cage to the front, to the back, and to the side at the same time. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Feel how your ribcage is expanding to the sides, to the back and to the front. And exhale. Everything is coming back to its original place. A few more times. Last time. Release your arms. Uh, place your hands on your knees. Lengthen your spine and relax your shoulders. We will continue the same breathing, but this time we will focus on the rhythm. So um, we want to get the same length for inhales and for exhales. Again, you can close your eyes uh, so you feel the sensation within your body even more. And let's start together. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. I let you continue on your own. Try to find your own rhythm within your body. It can be four, four, three, three, or even five, five. Breathe through your nose, calmly and smoothly. Don't hold your breath. This is called square breathing. And this square breathing injure um, the steady flow of oxygen in our body. And so our muscles create sustainable energy. Open your eyes and come to all fours. We will breathe the same way as we just did. Spread your fingers wide, allow, uh, align your arms, um, uh, wrist under your shoulders and knees uh, under your hips. And as you inhale, drop your belly, open your chest, gently look up, exhale, belly in, round your lower back, keep going, chin to chest, inhale, exhale, we don't need to rush, we want to align our movement with our breath, your chest, exhale, round your back and stay here for now. Keep your back rounded, push through your hands 
and feel your inhale running all over your back to the lower spine, even to your hips. And as you exhale, it's coming all the way back along your spine. On your inhale, feel how your ribcage is expanding to the sides, to the front and to the back. Exhale. You can always close your eyes and observe through your closed eyes what's happening in your body. One more time. And as you exhale, release from the pose and sit down. Again, you can uh, cross your legs or find any comfortable seat as you wish. Uh, allow your spine to be tall and relax your shoulders. Now place the left hand on your right knee and inhale the other arm up. Exhale over your head. Your sit bones are still on the ground and the top arm we're pulling back so we're nicely open our chest. You can look up. Imagine that somebody is taking your hand and pulling you even more. One more inhale. And as you exhale, come back to the middle. Switch your side, right hand on your left knee. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale over your head. We're breathing through the nose. One more inhale and exhale back to the middle. Place your hands on your thighs and now we will try to isolate the movement of our chest. So as we were moving the chest up and back, now uh, we will do the lateral moves. So let's move the chest to the side and other and relax your shoulders. One more time to the left. And now we will combine the moves uh, forward, back and to the side. So let's start up, to the side, back, to the other side and up. And keep going. and breathe. Focus on the thoracic spine, the area of your chest. And when you're going up forward, then switch your side. Move to the other side and back. One more circle. And as you finish this round, we will, um, we will try to flow all these moves together. So we go forward up to the side and back. And we're actually doing circles with our um, rib cage.
one more time and then switch your side. Last time. And come back to the middle. Now focus on your nose and start drawing circles with your nose. Don't focus on how it looks. Try to draw a nice circle. And relax your shoulders again. Your spine is nice and tall. And your face is relaxed. Finish your circle and switch your sides. It can look funny, but that's fine. Your spine will thank you later. Finish your circle and return back um, to the center line. We will continue with our circles uh, with our shoulders. And for, uh, before we start uh, circling, just lift your shoulders and drop them down. Let's do that again. Inhale your shoulders up and drop them down. Nice. So I start with the circles to the back. Breathe through your nose. Same length for inhales and exhales. Finish the round and switch the sides. Relax your shoulders. Now lift your arms overhead, like and imagine you're just where you just woke up, and you're stretching. Take a deep breath in, and relax. Now, let's stand up and find uh, either a chair or a table, like I have here, um, and place your hands. On the chair and um, stand a little bit farther and bend over so you're pressing your hands to the table or to the chair and then you want to lower your chest down this is beautiful active stretch shoulder opening Don't forget to breathe. Press through your hands, spread your fingers wide. Engage your fingers and press down. One more inhale, and on your exhale, slowly release the bones. Come back to standing. 
um, have your feet um, in your hips distance and just lift your knee and if you're sitting then I'll find you another verse uh, another option if you're sitting and you can't really stand up uh, for any reason um, place your hands in front of you drop your chin to chest and walk your fingers forward keep your uh, back around it and breathe again breathe to your whole back keep your arms and fingers active and for those who are standing we will do something a little bit different so your feet are in your hips distance and lift the right knee keep the leg engaged flex your foot and um, your arms are uh, besides your body. From here, open the right lifted leg to the side and push your hips forward. You can help yourself like with your hands so you can push a little bit uh, from uh, the inner side and the other arm is on your sacrum and you push forward, nice and breathe <laughs> one more inhale and on, on your exhale come back to the middle release your arms and do uh, little circles uh, from your hips the movement is coming from the hips If that helps, you can uh, have your hands on your waist or hips. And now switch your side when you finish the circle. And when you finish this circle, switch to the other side. I will come back to those who are sitting. So, um, from here, roll all the way back up. And um, we will stretch our uh, wrists. So, uh, uh, straighten your left arm. Let's start with the left one. And open your palm towards me. Now, uh, put your fingers, your palms on, uh, on top of each other and press. Create the pressure between your hands, between your palms. You can slide a little bit down on your fingers you can, so you feel it even more. But from here, just roll your shoulders back. Stay here for a few breaths and then just switch your sides. Straighten your right arm, press to your right fing uh, to fingers on your right hand and don't forget to uh, roll your shoulders back and down. Nice. And now come back to those who are standing. So when you finish your circles to both sides, um, uh, place your feet again um, in your hips distance and a little play uh, with the balance. There is a part of the brain that is responsible for coordination and balance and it's actually taking information from what we see, what we hear and uh, from what we smell. So um, when you're tired or you, you've been listening to 
uh, to a colleague on a meeting and the meeting is really long or your eyes are tired from the screen, you can choose one of these uh, elements and uh, give a brain a little bit different message. So close your eyes and start moving to the sides. Move your, um, your feet are still on the ground and you're just shifting your weight side to side. And through your closed eyes, remember just one object that was in front of you. And send the message to your brain that this is not a big deal again. We can work harder. And if this is okay, you can either continue or you can uh, come back to the middle and uh, keep your eyes closed and just lift your heels. Ooh. And come back. Now lift your toes. Lift your heels. Ah, second time is a little bit better. Nice. And lift your toes. Keep going. And for those who are sitting, um, there is a variation. Maybe you already know that. <laughs> Some doctors were um, doing uh, this kind of examination. Close your eyes and Focus on your uh, yourself, where your uh, body parts are in the space. So I want to bring my finger on the top of the nose and back. Try the other hand and back. Now let's try different fingers. So I went with a index and now I will try that with a little one and back, the other hand, and back. Awesome. I would love to see you guys. <laughs> so, uh, come back to the standing. So wherever you are, you're sitting or standing, now open your eyes, make sure your, um, your feet are rooted and just shake it out. Mm, nobody really sees you now, just shake it out, everything, move in your space, don't really think about it. Now take a deep breath in through your nose and open your mouth and side it out. One more time. Inhale. Awesome. So that was the end. That was the last thing we were doing together. I want to thank you for practicing with me. I know that some of the exercises uh, maybe uh, looked funny, but they really work. So you can use it whenever you need to refresh your mind and your body during the day. And yeah, uh, I work uh, for Red Hat. You can find me in a people team. And if you have any question, um, yeah, feel free to reach out to me and enjoy the conference. Thank you.